Hey guys, it is Rubber Ninja and welcome back to Franbo. And we have escaped the island, so it's pretty good. We oh, I'm just gonna turn down the volume. So we're gonna progress. Don't know how many chapters are there left, but oh, what the hell was that? It kinda glitched, but that's okay. We are going to cross the path. Um yeah, that's the whole point of it, I guess. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh friend, come on, we have to go home. There is no time to be afraid now. And also you've met a lot more stuff. Uh, ten times scarier than this bridge. I mean, yeah, you may fall to your death, but it's better to cross than to be stuck in the place. But, um, fair enough. I, I don't blame her, actually. <laughs> Um, I can go first, alright? Then you follow me. Alright, kitty, you're so sweet. Alright, I'll be right behind you. Ugh, I'm just gonna. I always have to move my microphone in between this shit. But anyway, mm. let's just go. We'll be fine. There is some. Roots right there, I see. We're fine. Friend, wait. What? Oh, dearie. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. God dang it. We were so close. Oh my dear, I can't hold it anymore. I don't want to die. And she's crying. Blood. What the heck? You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. Alright, here I go. I got you. Oh, oh my god. I got you. Friend. No. That is such a good cat. Like, I am glad that this game exists because... Don't be afraid, friend. We always fall. And after the pain we'll always rise. So deep. That is so deep. I can't I can't handle it. Oh oh dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why, why won't you just take me out of here, please? You will just leave me all alone like my mother father did. I'm sorry, my dear friend. You will soon understand. Aunt Grace, no, don't go, please, please. Jesus. Friend, it's time for your new medicine. This is so fucked. Wow. <clears throat> oh my god, where is friend? Oh, what happened? Where am I? Friend, where are you? Her clothes are here, but where the hell is she? We're playing as a cat now, this is awesome. Um, <clears throat> as I was saying earlier, before uh, we got interrupted. Um, yeah, as I was saying, because you know how dogs are, you know, called as men's best friends. But this game is like, no, that we're not going to use dogs, we're going to use cats. Cats are also our companions. So pretty cool and I'm pretty sure Natalia the developer is a bit fan cat fan cat, cat fan but the other way around and she's got a lovely cat I've seen it through photos and so it's really cute your cat is cute Natalia but anyway we're playing as him now which is pretty cool very cool actually oh hi <laughs> what in the ugly tree I scratch you you thing kitty Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Friend? What? 
Ah, so this is Fran. Is that you? It can be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Fran, you are a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get up. She doesn't realize? Now she does. Wait. Just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you have become a tree. What? Ha but how? Oh, my dear, this was the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I won't. I hope he won't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that. I just dropped my mic. <laughs> I just uh, from that night. That night, mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just, I just want to go home. But you can't go home because you. Well, you can, but how the hell are you going to turn? You can't, I don't know. There must be a way to turn back. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, friend. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Oh, hi. Honka ini kola. Koke, koke, wanna put. I don't know. Gibberish. I'm just gonna say gibberish, I don't Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you decking me? Could you please tell me why I am, sir? Some gibberish. <coughs> Stop it, I'll scratch you. <coughs> what are they saying? Oh, my kitty, why is this happening to us? Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Kitty, help me find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, friend. Is this a boot? Uh, might be. Can we. A carrot. Can we did find a purse? Oh, there it is. Hi. We just need to get across. <clears throat> oh, I knew it. Are you for real? Ah. Hmm. There must be something that we can do. Can we go here? Yes, we can. Okay, sweet. Oh, maybe we are. We can't. Oh, we can take... No, okay, maybe not. <clears throat> How the hell are we gonna get across? I s we see it, yes, but how the hell are we gonna cross? Without this bridge. It's not a bridge, but without this path. Keep constantly... <clears throat> pretending back, but hey. See, that happens when I step on that platform. Is there any, is there anything else? Maybe you can... Okay, sweet. So, can we... No? How this? Ah. Awesome. Oh wait, you, you moron, hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> I totally knew that. Just hold on. There we go. Done. We are done. We're gonna get a purse. <laughs> I got the purse because only because I'm the best. Friend, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing. You are the best, Mr. Midnight. 
Now show the show, blah, show the sir, sir who is attacking me for my family picture. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Oh, we need to read that um that book. Something, something, something. Some gibberish. Huh, where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? We're getting on the boat. They want to help you, friend. I can feel it. Gibberish. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I will be right here with you. Galop ma, galop ma. Chapter Tree, Vegetative State. So we found this <laughs> gibberish thing and more gibberish something. I'm just gonna. <clears throat> I could read the dialogue, but I'm just gonna leave on. Ah, oh, hi! Welcome, creature. My name is Zaya. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I can un I can understand. <clears throat> my good friend, Wright, told me that you showed an, an illustration. With four humans and a cat. I assume you're one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. He poked me in the eye. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yes, let me explain it to you. Ho oh, oh, ho, no need to explain. Nice child. The seed will show me everything. What seed? Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. That's <laughs> cute. Oh, he's cute. I like him now. Hmm, let me see. You're good. No doubt about that. The seeker of the truth. Very common of the bow family tree. Hey, family tree. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, your name is friend. You're the girl with passion, with a passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature next to you, sitting next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. <laughs> Why does everyone know me? <laughs> <It's just> <clears throat> Can you see all that in the seat? Be quiet. I see something else. The seat doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed. You're not supposed to be here, friend. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? Why can't I? Why we can't like? We can't let you leave now, it's too dangerous for us. Why? You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Dead is nothing more than the absence of love. Deep. Once you can't feel love, you die. Even your body still, work, still walks. But th then I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. <coughs> God, sorry. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think friends should go home, go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show, show us the way back home. I implore you. Ha, I have a question. Are you the king? Ha, you're hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of... It's a star. Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They're pretty. King, sir, please will you help me? Why is this need of you going home so great? The sea told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She'll protect me. 
I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time and I want to be some place where I feel at home, sir. I see. You're very brave. I just want to go home. Please, help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where is this door, sir? Well, we'll talk about it later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir, that would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring you, bring, bring your home human body back. The only the great wizard can do, wizard can do that. <coughs> but we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. I mean, uh, that's fair, I guess. That's pretty fair. But how would I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's cool. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand. That would be so amazing. But not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. That's fine. Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do, and you sound so kind. This is incredible. Did you understand my kiwi? <laughs> I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't eat the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on frag fragrance and sounds. You'll see everything as your own world very soon, no doubt about that. You'll do fine, Kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now it's time for the procedure. Procedure, God damn it! Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes, I get dizzy. Why? Take it upstairs immediately. Uh, what the fuck? What the? That leg so beautiful. Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? To get some arms and legs, everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, friend. I love you. I love you too, mate. That is so terrifying. <laughs> Those legs are beautiful, though. Oh. Apologize for my coughing and throat clearing because I get really bad phlegm so it's, it gets horrendous <coughs> it can <coughs> that is cute I like I like this cute creature good day my name is Palantras and I'm your doctor today at your humble service are you the emergency case yes I believe I am whoa amazing what a huge beautiful fluffy thing excuse me Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand all that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, human. I think we can get you part, a pair of arms and legs. But we have to travel a little further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? Oh, yes, please. What beast? Me, I'm the beast. Let's go. Oh, that's so cute. That is seriously cute. Here we are. Whoa, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you, this is my home. This is where I was born. Oh, nice. The spirit of the great Velikos created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Who was the great Velikos? Haven't you heard about the five realities? No. He's the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at the war with the darkness and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken, he was all alone. But he came to Itasta and his blood made this water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Whoa, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And how is that you're here? We, what brought you to Isisa? <clears throat> My kitty and I were on our ba way back home. I was so happy to see him and I hugged him again, and, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. 
Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But, Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes. Sometimes our wishes are so strong that they became true. They become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Oh. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed, but you wanted to keep it, keep being friend. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories of you. And it's actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as chrysalis. I don't know why you say that. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself. Well, contrast, sir. How I did? I uh, how I didn't know I was doing anything. <coughs> <coughs> you really didn't know what you were doing. I see. Well, when you travel to a sister, you open a door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. Terrible black. It must be the... It must be him. Oh, baby, don't cry. Oh, don't cry, baby. Oh, babes, don't cry. <laughs> I'm going to hug, I'm so fluffy. Oh, I can't see this happening again, I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you're so nice. You, you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs. Hmm. Yes, Doctor. Soldier of the sun. Spirit of the water. Gift. Friend, her arms and legs. Beautiful. How do you feel, friend? From the sis. Is that? I can't say the name. Well, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you you would fix it. We would fix it. This water is magical. It could fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mummy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? They're dead. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, sorry, nothing, Doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best Doctor I've ever had. And you're fluffy and beautiful. I had another Doctor before. His Doctor was... His, his name was Doctor D. But he was an evil old man. An old man? Hmm, I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. But he fucking got drugs illegally. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. That is so awesome! This is amazing! Here we are again! Show Zaya the King what a nice is the tennis you have become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely, I will see you soon. Goodbye. Mouse. This is awesome. This is seriously awesome. You fluffy kitty. Oh, yeah, do you like that? <laughs> oh, the king. <laughs> this is beautiful. Here I am. Where my dear? You've got lazy in your head. How pretty. Oh, the king is amazing. <laughs> oh, let me see you. What a great assistant as you've become. Thank you, king, sir. The doctor's incredible, he makes magic with water. But he was said he told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry, Palantras will be fine, I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one who is able to bring you bring your human back body back, god damn it. I can't speak. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Perfect. Where is this wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. Ha, uh, you haven't even gone outside this castle and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, friend. The great wizard lives in the great mountain, Cotrim. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. 
Why haven't you tried to find a great wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to, it's very logical. You see, we don't need this wizard to perform magic and prepare potions. Potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain, you said? You will have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great assist. Oh, hi! Oh my god, hi! It's still the other day. And good luck finding the great wizard. Hi there. That's cool, I like that. Whoa, did you see that huge fluffy creature, kitty? That's Palantras, he fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Oh, thank you. Well, oh, thank you, kitty. Do you see my pills? Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the side of the lake, next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyways. And we don't need that shit in as well, to be honest. We have to find a wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain too. Yes, Mountain Kochum, the, the, the great wizard lives there. Let's go. Alright, so we need to read this book. Oh, I'm just gonna read it. Um. Okay. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected, I found what my senses could show me. I found a truth that relays silently in the unknown. Leon Castillo, one of the dozen. July 11, 1908. You can skip this if you want, or pause it and read it. Oh, I'm just going to read it out anyway, but either way, you can skip this if you wish to. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses or clothing. Since childhood, I was I always talked to the animals, plants and insects, and even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you're looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel that what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become the one of everything. December 17, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. This is very good. December 19, 1875. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of, my, one of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Ramor, Prince of Darkness. From the fifth reality. Oh. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me I was a key to existence. Inside my need, the storm of my wisdom inside my head. January 13, 1876. I can see myself around. The other me tell me lies. Talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, Kill yourself, and I tried. Hypnotized by his words. But there is always something saving me at the end. It must be the love of the January 15, 1876. I meet a shadow for the first time. It talked to me. The name is Kamalas, I imagine. Oh, never mind. The race is called the Kamalas. They hang with weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, We're bond and feed from fear and the uncontrolled owners of human mind were invincible to them but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. January 16, 1876 After seeing the camellas reacting to water I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night I encountered something amazing. The camellas transformed into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After this terrible screaming, the camels calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing after a few minutes. A bright and peaceful being was, rise, was rising in front of me. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering and must go where I belong. It's the terrible wait. All velikas must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer after a while, it faded away. February 2nd, 2nd, 
1876. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I read probably more from the fifth reality. If there's a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Isisia may, be, may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Velikos, Velikos invitation. Since I saw the Velikos, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. Ma Mars? Mars 13. Mars 13. 1876. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things that I have seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invincible to most people. I wish I could find a friend just like me because my son, he thinks I'm insane. July 25th, 1876. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws because they are not only laws but also behaviours. Chemical behaviours, natural laws, without those behaviours, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf in the ground, calm or dying. November 11, 1876. Last night, after the huge, after the storm, a huge creature was at my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. Sorry, I had a clear throat. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviours in any kind of living creatures. I poured some of the pink liquid on the dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. The bacteria may work as platelets and white blood cells but at very high speed. Hmm. November 20, 20 22nd, that is 22nd, 1876. I dream a dozen of black cats surrounding my house, big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Being an interstellar, is interstellar are very, from roots to giant insects. Roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and the meteorology. Hmm. The Great Velikos is the beginning of the first reality. Premier light. The Velikos body structure is quite different from ours. They're made of photons and, around, and sound waves. They're also both male and female. When the youngster reach age 299, 792, 459, they're crowned with the shoe. This is very long. Zia, creation of the Great Velikos, king of a sister, second reality, life. February 13, 1877. Being in, in uh, you know what, fuck it, feels like becoming what you can't understand on earth. It's where it leaves along while falling off the tree and the water that whispers its wisdoms where you drink. Pandora, creation of the five realms of, of essential existence, resides in the human world, that reality, earth, Mars and Jupiter, consciousness, practice will, center city, the end of vibration, when both ends of opposites are the same degree, besides in third and fourth reality, death. Mabuga is the end of light. March 23rd, 1877. Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I've spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love, it's, it's everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying, I enjoy laughing, I enjoy being alive. Clear my throat, sorry. No doubt I recorded. I'm getting ready for the journey back. Mabuka sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den and I'm waiting for the Lucifers. I had become, f become friends with them or to be more precise, become one of them. Lucifers gather in filaments. That's why they look like they're growing hair and the big face is mostly for communication purposes and to scare the predators. Oh, we met this one. I hope my body can survive and uh, I hope my body can survive the journey. This happens. Gravity collects particles to create new one. It's a creative force and with creativity evolution is inve in inevitable. 
English. Cool, this that was the end of it. It look this look some of these things look like atoms and you know just chemistry stuff. But hey, that was really interesting. Very interesting. And that was a long wait, so um pretty cool. Oh, hi there. No no no, you can't get it, it's close. Oh, close. I didn't know what's behind this passage. Well, the library, of course. It's close. Coming back in the fall winter, then it will be open. Weird. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Palantras? Yep. Yes, that's me. Palantras gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. Hey. <laughs> yes, but why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's the logic. As the sun goes around the second moon, the SSC will be open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Oh. So you don't learn anything while you're in summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask many... many questions. Uh, well, I'm curious. That's why. Everything looks so different here in SSR. I guess you're not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Bye. Wait, can I go in there? Never mind. He was like, he had that motion where he can go and I was like, okay, fine. This is awesome. Wow, this is a bit scary, but it's so beautiful. Sure is. Neat. Hello, sir. Are you a god? Yes. Oh, I see. Do you know where the mountain culture is? Yes. Uh, can you tell me where it is? Yes. Well, tell me, please. Hmm, the mountain culture is only in winter time. What? Winter time? What are you talking about? Hmm, of course, winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. Go. Oh, but how? Ah, sorry, but I'm not going to explain things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tried for me before. Alright, thank you, sir. I'm not sure how long I've been recording. I'm just going to quickly check. Okay, I'm going to quickly check. quite a while but we'll find oh, I can't remember what he said now shit but um we'll have a look oh we can't read of course we can't read my bad um who's gonna ask around clock maker don't see any clock maker yet but let's just ask it's a good day for good fabric and dread I'm your service Okay, now one. Hello! Ah, oh, who's there? Who? Me, friend, can't you see me? Oh, now I see a little. You have four eyes. Wow. Four eyes? I don't have. A what are you selling? Only the very best clovers of the entire land. They. Do you want to smell it? Sure, they look like coconuts. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect. They're not coconuts. Poo, like in the toilet. Whoa, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad. Why? It's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. Hey, I have to get going now. Good luck with the plovers. Bye. Hello, I'm friend. What are you doing? Good day. I'm Pruta, and I'm holding this piece of iron. Oh, for what? I have to de deliver a few clock pieces to the clock maker. Nice. Oh, I see. So you can do all, all, all kind of metallic stuff. Sure, if you have some ideas, we can talk about them and pet them. I do it. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working. But if you need my service, you know where I am. Nice. We're going to find a clockmaker and I hear him. So we're going to find him. We're going to talk to him there, actually. Hello, what are you doing? Hmm, working on my clock. 
Ah, uh, I see. Sir, do you know where I can find a great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. Add some clocks. Tick tock. Hmm, and do you know where the mountain culture is? The mountain culture only exists in winter time. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be a mountain culture. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely late reality. Oh, a layered reality. That sounds great. What should I do then? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where is the clock? Well, go towards this castle but turn to your left when you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You're very nice. Bye. Alright then, guys. I have to stop here be quite a while and I have to do the editing part now and upload it as soon as possible and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye.